Morning, my name is Karen Jones, Content Editor for the Society of Technical Analysts. Today we're looking at sterling versus the US dollar. Post rate rise, they raised uh, rates by 50 basis points yesterday. Uh, and we take a look at this. Now, a couple of days ago, I highlighted to you the importance of overhead resistance. And we can see here, this comes in at 128.95. It's the resistance line drawn from the middle of April. Um, I'm, the previous high is here around 128.50. We also have the 200 week moving average coming in at 128.75. And long term Fibonacci retracement on the monthly chart down from the peak in 2007. The 23.6% retracement coming in at 128.67. And the 55 month moving average at 128.80. So there was a lot of resistance that I highlighted to you, and I did recommend that you tightened up stops ahead of these figures coming out. So we've seen the figures. What's happening now? Well, the market is starting to trickle down, and I think it's important to highlight that we're already seeing on the weekly RSI some evidence of divergence. We'll have to wait for the close, of course. However, the market has made a new high and the RSI has not. And that does suggest we are losing upside momentum at this critical junction on the chart. It does suggest we are going to see a little bit of weakness here very near term. So let's take a look at our supports. The first support, what we are, which we are actually sitting on, uh, is the mid-May high at 126.80. Uh, and your second support will be at 125.37, which is the mid-April high. Now, Directly below there, we have the 55-day moving average at 125.15 and the uptrend coming in around 124.80. So, those are your near-term levels. 126.80 is going to be your near-term break point on the downside. That is the support level to watch near-term. Uh, once it breaks, I do think you are going to see the market start to trickle lower. Thank you.